Hey everybody, Brooklyn in the house. Back at you to do a read for the sign of Pisces. So Pisces, of course, watcher, please try to use the energy in this reading in a helpful, positive manner for yourself. Now, let's hit this. Clearing ground for Pisces, please. Thank you. As above, so below, there is no beginning, there is no end. It is with an attitude of gratitude that I would humbly like to thank Source, the Archangels, Ascended Masters, Spirit, and my ancestors for overseeing this act of divination. Spirit, please help me to relay clear and concise messages for the highest good of our collective of Pisces. Pisces energy is fluid. I could be speaking about you or somebody in your energetic field. Show me the energy. And let's see who now. I'm going to help somebody out there today. Yeah. Yeah, here we go. Pisces, please and thank you. Any planetary placement. By the way, Pisces, while I'm doing this, thank you so much for taking the valuable time every day to join us. We see you, acknowledge you, and we're very, very grateful for your presence. We love you in case no one else has told you. Queen of Pentacles status. You could be, you know, very successful right now, especially financially. Maybe you're a very resourceful person, and, uh, you know, with the Queen of Pentacles here, you could be a business owner or some kind of a, you know, boss person, a boss, yeah, lady, because it is the Queen. This is somebody who's very, um, Practical and down-to-earth and sensible, generous, disciplined. They have their own. Let's see what's going on. Please and thank you. Please and thank you. Pisces. There you go. Ooh, Pisces, you got the Ten of Cups. Look. Emotional fulfillment, domestic harmony, happiness and love, family contentment. Total love and support, Pisces. Okay? You can be the matriarch of the family here. Somebody might be painting their house. Show me what's going on here. Foundation situation, seven of wands. Somebody here was very resilient and persistent and didn't give up on the situation. Somebody also here with the seven of wands maybe had to defend themselves or persevere through something. There could have been some kind of a competition that they had to be resilient and not give up on. You know what I mean? Like not raise the white flag in some kind of an area. Some kind of a volcano situation. Something about a volcano. Oh, God, no. I hope there's not a volcano going off. All right. I'm going to mark this one in. There might be a volcanic eruption somewhere. Mm. Mm. Seven could be of significance. What? Yeah. Show me, show me crowning Pisces. Please and thank you, Pisces. What's crowning Pisces? Oh, the Queen of Swords. All right, so Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy for using your head over your heart, being very honest. It's a very independent energy. I mean, you know, the Queen of Swords could be divorced. Oh, there goes the fucking nose. Listen, divorced or single, but it's somebody who has some kind of higher perspective on things. It's very independent. The Queen of Swords is a very self-sufficient, honest person. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Yeah. Somebody has a lot of integrity. This, you know, the Queen of Swords has integrity. Uh, they know the truth, I can tell you that. It's really the truth that they have. To, okay, sorry. Well, you, gotta, you could have a Virgo coming in. Or, you know, maybe you're going to spend some time in solitude and do some soul searching. I mean, that's the hermit, okay? Uh, this is about enlightening. It's also about spiritual enlightening. The ninth could be of significance. We got nines across the board, shamanic healing of Archangel Michael. Um, 999 megahertz. So that, you know, either you're going to be spending some time in solitude, like I said, doing a lot of self-reflection and introspection, and you might have somebody that's doing that, and you're noticing it. Let's see how you're perceiving this in your mind's eye, in the back of your head. Whoa. That shit blew. That shit blew. Let me see. Whoa. Coming to, coming to a place of truth. Okay? Somebody might be, there could be a Virgo coming in to tell you some kind of truth, the ace of swords. But you're looking at this like some kind of clarity. Or, if that's not the case, excuse me, <coughs> whatever soul searching that you're doing or self-reflection or, you know, the wise old sage, it's not about age. It's about your life lessons and experiences and ha how you transmute them for your higher power to learn from them and do better. To the point where you can even be a beacon of light by leading by example to others, you know. Um, there's clarity coming in the situation. These are the fucking facts. It's the Ace of Swords, right? That's it. It's a facts card. Maybe you're going to see something very clearly and have to do some... Whatever this is, it's a beautiful energy. I mean, it's always good to become very clear with yourself and, and do this, you know, self-reflection every once in a while. 
and uh, see the truth. You're, you're looking at this like seeing the truth, whether it's somebody else or you. Seeing your own truth or somebody else's. I love it. Okay, so what's in the actual environment? Right now for Pisces, Pisces. You might see that somebody did a lot of soul searching and you know, is the Four of Cups. But you see that it's come, it came right on the shelf. I got to acknowledge this. So the Four of Cups, you know, you could be at this point coming to a time of acceptance or clarity in a situation with the Four of Cups. Like maybe you're not completely accepting or clear on shit. Maybe you, you know, whatever it is, you haven't come to complete happiness, but you're on your way, okay? You're not sitting there Four of Cups upright anymore, disgusted in this situation. You, you could have been in deep contemplation and now, you know, like you're, while that deep contemplation is activating some kind of clarity and acceptance, which is affording you the opportunity to move forward in an area. What's the uh, best advice? So that's what you're doing right now. You're doing soul search, it seems like, or at least you're about to. Something about a ham. I'm seeing like a, I'm seeing like a Christmas ham, a ham that somebody would cook, like with a bone in it, like an Easter ham or a Christmas ham. Some kind of sugared ham. <laughs> some kind of sugared ham. What the fuck? All right, let me see. Somebody might have just went and got their nails done, or they're about to. I don't know. Something about red high heels. Somebody might be putting on some red high heels. Somebody's eating soup. I'm eating soup. <laughs> what the? Pisces, please. What's the uh, best advice to Pisces? Hey, but what are you thinking? That's so, all. Give it to me. Here we go. Ooh. Okay, so it's you completed a cycle. Okay, Taurus energy. You've achieved something. You've accomplished something, and now you got a three of pentacles. Uh, in reverse, meaning that you might feel like you want to do things on your own, okay? Because three of pentacles in reverse is teamwork does not always make the dream work. Sometimes spirits better off doing it on their own, right? It's a it's a it's an energy of maybe uh, some kind of disharmony. You so you could have completed a cycle here. Twenty first could be of significance or third. It is an achievement. It is an accomplishment. And right now you just don't feel like you want to uh, collaborate, you know? Because that's collaboration. The three of pentacles upright. Uh, apprenticeship. Maybe you don't want to learn anything new right now. Maybe you, like, let's just say the world is completing school. Maybe you're not ready to go out and get a job yet. You know, maybe you're taking that little high end. Let's just say, let's, this is an example, okay? You know when you finish college and then instead of going right into work, you go travel the world for a year by yourself or some shit like that. That's what that's like, that kind of energy. So that's what Spirit's saying. Maybe, you know, since you completed the cycle, maybe it's time to, you know, do it on your own for a minute. Whatever it is, work on your own. You know, just don't jump into any collaborations. I'm hearing. All right, so listen. What's the most likely uh, likely advice? What do we have here? We oh god, we have what? We have uh, Taurus. We have Virgo, and that's what we have. You have an Eight of Cups. So somebody could be walking away. Oh, you have an Eight of Cups and a Knight of Cups. So let me tell you something. Somebody might be walking away from something else to bring you in some kind of an offer, or unless you've got some. The Knight of Cups is an energy of somebody who's very romantic. They may want to seduce you, this person, you know, but they have feelings as well. It's also an energy of like a helpful, it's not nefarious, the Knight of Cups. It could be somebody very charming and romantic to come in to make some kind of proposal. And I'm not saying like they want like a proposal, let's get married. I'm like, let's go out on a date, or I have some kind of romantic interest that I would like to explore with you. And it's real, okay? It's, you know, emotions. Somebody might be walking away from something else and coming right towards you with this offer. You know? Or, or you're walking away from something else. Somebody's walking away. I'm hearing, I'm hearing Craig David. <laughs> I'm hearing Craig David in my head. All right, you also got one, five one. This one. Oh, let me tell you something. Well, let me tell you something, Pisces. There's going to be some kind of fighting, conflict, arguing in the situation, aggression, competition. Fucking drama, okay? You got a five of wands, Leo energy over some kind of, listen, the star. Somebody here might have a major glow up with this Aquarius energy. It could be an, it could be an Aquarius that's maybe walking away from a situation to bring you this offer and it's going to cause a lot of shit. They, that's a thing. The eighth again, somebody can be 58. Eights across the board. We're going to try to remove the negativity for you. While we're on the subject, Pisces. Playing for your healing sound bath in the background, even though I'm dead ass sure you can't hear it, is uh, 257 hertz, 257 megahertz. The element of earth, we are working on our root chakra. The mantra is I am, I am, I am the shit. Also, uh, it's about grounding self-preservation. Your root chakra is located at the base of your spine. This is your survival 
instincts, your self-security, you know, it's for grounding. The color is red. So any kind of red crystal that you can muster, red jasper, garnet, bloodstone, black tourmaline, a ruby would be good too. I was seeing rubies earlier, so yeah. Black tourmaline. Anyway, you're gonna have some kind of wish come true. I don't think people are gonna lie. It's gonna cause some kind of, if, whatever this is, if this is some kind of new relationship where somebody's coming towards you, you're gonna, it's gonna wish come true. This is some kind of stardom to wish come true. You're gonna see something very clearly, you completed something, whatever this is. Maybe you just need to, you know, well, use discretion, whatever you're doing here. This is what? This is the judgment card. You're going to have to make some kind of decision. It could be over something you're manifesting. Oh, it's going to be shock and a surprise. Something's about to take off. You're going to... Oh, there it is. What is that? The Ten of, the ten of Cups? Was that the Ten of Cups? Let me just see. Nine of Pentacles. Oh, the Nine of Cups. Well, that's good. That's wishes coming true success. Something's about to take off for you. I'm telling you. You're just going to have to make some kind of clear decision. It's some kind of judgment call I'm, I'm hearing. Something about an owl. Yeah. All right, let's get you some clarifiers, Pisces. Thank you, Pisces. Could you please hit that like and subscribe? I'm not, I, you know, I gotta catch up on a lot of videos because I haven't been able to speak. Or I'm not gonna have, you're not gonna have any videos again this week. So um, I don't have time to sit around editing too because you still gotta make those little pictures on top and come up with these inventive, creative, you know, cute little names that catches everybody's attention. It's ridiculous, all right? You got a seven of pentacles. Seven of Pentacles coming in on the side. You may be losing patience in a situation. Like, that's it. Seven of Pentacles upright is when you're being patient. And Seven of Pentacles uh, upside down is like a lack of a... You may be... There may be a lack of a long-term vision. I'm seeing a scarab beetle. Something about a candy cane. Candy cane? Somebody's finding some... <laughs> somebody's finding some candy canes from Christmas. And contemplating eating them right now. What is it? <laughs> I don't think they went bad. They have candy canes hanging around. Something about a fucking candy cane. I don't know what it is. Now, you also have the pages. Oh, somebody's watching somebody. And maybe they're just indecisive or they're sick of patiently waiting around for somebody or something. I can tell you that. They, they really are. Somebody's sick of patiently waiting around for somebody or something. They really are. They're done. That's it. You're out. You're out. You took too long to make a decision. You're out. Okay, so here we go. One more. You also have the four of wands in reverse. So somebody here maybe feels like there's, uh, you know, some kind of instability. And I will tell you, there's a lack of support. Somebody is transitioning through something, whatever this is, okay? And they're going to have some kind of wish come true. And there's a lack of support here with the five of wands. As a matter of fact, not only is there a lack of support, but they want to stop fucking shit too, these people. When he's 54 years old, the night can be of significance. Here comes the, uh, the okay, so you got the... The Knight of Wands, somebody's about, to, somebody's about to bust the fuck out. That's what I'm hearing. <laughs> you really are. So kind of energetic, you know, go, the Knight of Wands is somebody that's very free-spirited and creative. They don't give a rat's ass. They're doing them. They're living in the moment fearlessly, right? It's the, it's the hero. There goes the nose. I think, oh, there it goes. Somebody's going to be their own hero here. And I don't think anybody's going to like it. But somebody's going after their wishes and they're going to make them come true. This is what? So let's get some kippers. Two, one. Oh, I like that one. Okay. Look at that shit. All right, Pisces. All right. Who stepped in this shit this week? Somebody could be in despair over any goddamn thing, but you're going to be right out of it. The fifth could be of significance because why? Look at this. These two cards popped out together. You've seen that. Unexpected income and sudden fucking wealth. So now I'm putting that in the title. And not that I ever do clickbait because I don't. That's 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 grimy. I think that's grimy. But here you go. Seven 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 could be of significance. Somebody's about somebody's about to hit the jackpot here. Yeah, somebody stepped in shit. I'm not gonna. Do, I used that title last week, but maybe somebody's ham's about to get sugared. <laughs> Look, this is your wishes coming true. Whatever this whatever this financial windfall is, and that's what I'm gonna say. It's this is the star. Could be just a gift from the divine. Let me, yeah, all right, so here we go. There could be a mature man involved. We got fives across the board. Healing past trauma and fifth dimension connection, Pisces. What am I going to give you next? Let's give you the hidden truths and see what's got to say what that doesn't open their freaking fucking mouth, except for to start trouble, right? That's all people want to do. So, Fable Baby. It's getting big, right? Look how nice I'm training him. I lost myself for a little while. So apparently they're trying to find their way back, this person. They might come and tell you that. Because let me tell you, that's the hermit. You lose yourself and then you go into isolation and self-reflection you know, and introspection. And you wake the fuck up. 
Somebody lost themselves and realized that you're the best thing in their life, Pisces, unless you feel this way. They're going to come and tell you this. They're going to be like, oh my God, I made such a big fucking mistake. And you're going to be like, oh well, just wait now. Okay, here you go. I want to tell you how... What did I just tell you? I cannot. <laughs> All right? They want to tell you how they feel. And this person doesn't even make a face when somebody mentions your name because it's going to be written all over their fucking face how they feel. Everybody's going to see right through their bullshit. Right through it. Here's the romance angels. Yeah, please. I don't know what to tell you, Pisces. All right? Prepare yourself. So, you you know, if you have an idea who this might be or even if you don't, somebody's got... Just... Yeah. Prepare yourself. Here you go. Yeah. Trust. The situation is calling for you to have some. Somebody's got some kind of romantic feelings, like I'm telling you, that they want to explore. Okay? If they're real. They're worth exploring. Go for it. Nothing wrong with a little exploration, right? Exploration is the key. Here. Let your, what? Let your friends help you. Well, I'm going to tell you that works. And you don't may not think so, but you may have friends and you may be by friends and then they have friends that are around them and you meet their friends and that's the friends. You know what I mean? Trust me. Trust me. Ask for and accept support from others. Yeah, chemistry. You gonna you meet somebody, you bump in, you have chemistry just like that. And of all things for it to happen in fucking person in a day and age like this. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. Oh, yes, there is. All right, Pisces. This is, I don't even know. I'm just going to say you're about to hit the fucking jackpot here. I, I don't know what to tell you. Take it or leave it. I hope somebody comes. Void of course, move. Nothing's going to come up in certain situations, so be careful of that. Nothing is yet set in stone, though, so that's very mutable. One more. Here you go. You have your dreams need a practical plan, full moon in Taurus. So you got the full moon, void of course, and the mutable. The bottom of the deck, waxing crescent. Have faith in your dreams. So you've got all kinds of weird moon phases, except for this full moon here. Um, nothing is ever set in stone. All right? Try to have a practical plan, but don't stick to it too rigidly because life has its own plan for you. You can't have faith in your dreams with it. And in some situations, some things never come of anything, so don't worry about that. Okay? So I'm hearing Lonnie, Lonnie. Somebody's a loony bin. Something about long. You got three O's again. L you got four O's. I don't know. I'm going to pull more because, yeah. L-T-G-N-I, four O's. Let me see. Please give us consonants. Yeah, thanks. We also have two L's now, a B. We got an E on this side. Yes. All right, that's good. That's good letters. Now we got some really good letters. Okay. You have two E's, four O's, an I, and a Y. I'm hearing Billabong, Billabong. You have two L's, B, G, S, T, N. I'm hearing Stan, Stan. So like maybe Eminem, Stan, four stands. I don't know. Whatever. Close it. We love you, Pisces. Always remember, leave with logic and integrity. Act with kindness and love. Let things go. Fear is your enemy. Trust in God. Karma is real. And until next time, love, light, and laughter.